you know, a lot of people, they wasn't familiar with Whoopty, what that call is, what that call meant. Yeah. Vlad interviewed China Mac. You, you familiar with China Mac? Yeah. Vlad interviewed China Mac and basically China Mac was saying, and I, and I don't want to put words in his mind, I want to get it right. So, something to the fact that um, you stole the phrase whoopty mm. from the bloodhound Brim Bloods. Whoopty was founded by my brother La Brim, right? What is Whoopty? Whoopty is is um it's it's a it's a it's like a a, a gang call, right? It's a word that a gang uses. Um, you know, it's a blood thing. It's a blood thing, right? And um, I was actually I I know the the the, the person I was in prison with him. I know him. You know what I'm saying? And I was actually there for the beginning. Of that whole thing, and like you know, um, 2005, like 2003, when or when that gang started getting big, and I remember those phrases, whoop D, and and now he got a new song, Jack My Bop, and that's that. That's the same. That's all from what um, my bro La Brim, you know, he made all of these sayings and shit. And okay. this kid, CJ, basically didn't have no ties to them or whatever and and just basically just jack their whole shit you know what i'm saying is that accurate i never i never stole anything you know just because i said the word in a song or i made it a song doesn't mean i took ownership of the word i never said i owned the word i never said i created the word you know shout out to you know the person who did um, I definitely don't want to, you know, take responsibility for the word. You know, I said what I said. And like I said, if you know, you know, and if you don't, you don't. But shout out to, you know, the creator of that word. Got you. You know, you handled so much of this with a lot of class. You're a young guy. Mm -hmm. um, coming from where you come from, stepping into the world that you stepped into, it, it, it ain't normal for lack of a better way to put it for young artists to take the high road and i saw an interview you did with ebro um yeah. i think it was for his apple music mm -hmm. um podcast and essentially you were like he asked you about the comments that were made and you were like nah there's no response I don't pay that no mind. Everybody got an opinion. You can't right. satisfy everybody. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing and elevating and perfecting my craft. I don't really pay mind to what's going on the internet. I'm good on this side. Is that who you are? Like That's a very composed, very mature statement that you made. Yeah. Um, you didn't feed into a narrative because you could have easily got caught into a back and forth yeah, war. For sure. Easy. Easily. It, what made you take that road? Um, I feel like trying to address everything and, and all the rumors and all the allegations, I feel like you're going to sit there and drive yourself crazy. You know, I ain't come into this game or, you know, make music for that, for the, for the negative side of things. You know, I came in here to work on my craft, you know, be a better artist and, you know, focus on getting to the top that was that was my plan that was my goal you know I, i'm not worried about what the next man is talking about what the next man is doing i'm worried about me and winning so 